My name is Jost von Marburg. I serve the Emperor as an Inquisitor of the Ordo Xenos, devoted to the destruction of those species who oppose the rightful domination of mankind over the galaxy. To that end, I have spent decades of my life studying one of the most elusive and mysterious space hulks. The Forsaken Doom. A name spoken in terror by starship crews. The Shadow in the Night. A myth. A horror. And all too real. Drifting randomly in and out of the warp for millennia, this gargantuan agglomeration of wrecks has been the grave of countless space marines. Ultimately, each chapter's defeat was lost to the ages and forgotten, leaving the Imperium in ignorance. For the Forsaken Doom is the lair of grave perils, the most dangerous of them, the gene stealers that swarm and multiply in grotesque profusion. The vanguard of the Tyranid threat, infesting ships and planets, spreading like an insidious plague, these creatures are merciless, ravenous monsters. They form a collective body of highly evolved intelligence, driven by a common will for the extermination of all life unlike them. Though some of its parts are far more ancient, the first contemporary records of the Forsaken Doom date back to the beginning of the 41st millennium, when a party of ultramarines boarded the Great Hulk on a mission of purification. What fate awaited them there has never been revealed. Until now. Benarius wants to command. We have boarded the derelict. Confirm. Brother Sergeant, we detect multiple life forms inbound. Acknowledged. This vile wreck is infested with the Xenos. We will purge it. We are steel and doom. The arrival of the Adeptus Astartes awakened the brood. Slowly but surely, the gene stealers were emerging from their sleep, their synapses saturated by a feral thirst for blood. The biological communal intelligence of the Xenos was about to clash with the doctrinal will of the Ultramarines. Weapon. The bearer was taken by those living nightmares. Mother Sandra has fallen. He will be avenged for my crack. Squad gentlemen to all units. Squad Vandarius is lost. We are assuming command. Vengeance shall be ours, brothers. Stand by to deploy Scorpion turrets. This is Squad Nefreya. Acknowledge. We may have found a way to destroy this section of the Hulk. Do you read? As the fight grew in intensity, more monsters were stirred to join the fray. Unknown biodivergent gene stealers emerged to engulf the Ultramarines. These biomorphic monsters were to be the dark curse of the Forsaken Doom. Cunning and brutal, the gene stealers slaughtered Squad Vandarius to the last man. For the Ultramarines, it was a setback that needed immediate reprisal. But the brood was now fully active, as the warriors of the 13th chapter would learn to their great cost. Squad Mithraea had found a weakness in the structure of the derelict. An ancient network of plasma energy conduits was still functional, and their destruction would likely split the space hulk into fragments. Meanwhile, their battle brothers in Squad Vandarius worked to activate their sentry turrets. But the gene stealers were not idle in the face of these invaders. Lurking close to the marines in the corners and recesses of the wrecks, a rare type of biomorphic gene stealer was about to launch a crushing assault. We're, we're entering an old vessel. Watch for any trucks the green skins may have left behind. 
How could such a disarray ever function as a starship? Orcish contractions are unstable. Do not open fire unless you have a clear line of sight. Explosive materials and fungal growths are everywhere. Perhaps you could turn that to our advantage. Use them to kill the Xenos. Maximus reporting in. These energy conduits are heavily armored. There is no other option. We need to destroy them with a shot from the plasma cannon. Understood, Brother Sergeant. Plasma cannon stands ready to cleanse and burn. We are steel and doom. <laughs> These things are in sight. It looks different somehow. Destroy it! The Ultramarines were the first to meet this unique type of gene stealer biomorph. But such was the tempo of the melee that they did not perceive the consequences of this encounter. If only the data from their combat recorders had been transmitted to the Order Xenos, then decades of hard work and frustrated research would have been avoided. This is Brother Sergeant Brutius assuming command. All units fall back to Sector Zeta-14. We cannot win this day. Prepare for a tactical withdrawal from the Hulk. Having sustained significant losses, the Ultramarines were forced to retreat. The boundary between retreat in good order and a complete rout is a narrow one, despite the martial prowess of the Sons of Gilliman. Alas, however, narrow the gap. The Gene Stealers always find a way to slip through. Flooded and suffering numerous casualties, the surviving Ultramarines moved to evacuate from the Forsaken Doom. But the battle was not over, as a single steadfast sergeant rallied the remnants of the broken squads to fight a fierce rearguard action. Brutius was a typical Space Marine sergeant. To him, defeat was impossible to accept so long as he still had the strength to hold a weapon and the will to face the enemy. Sergeant Brutius, to all units, I have assumed command. We must hold this section until our brothers have withdrawn back to the boarding torpedo. Courage and honor, brothers. Did the Gene Stealers understand that the Sergeant was important? It is hard to speculate how the thought process of the Brood works, but it seems the Xenos deliberately tried to behead the Ultramarine defenders by killing their last leader in the field. Sergeant, I'm picking up an intermittent box signal. Imperial icons confirmed. Could it be reinforcements? The Imperial Navy? Negative. These box codes are ancient. No one has used them in ten millennia. Then ignore it. We have no time to waste on such things. Give our lives in Gilliman's name. This is command. The Xenos swarms are everywhere. We cannot stop them. Ah! A crushing defeat and an uncommon event for a chapter accustomed to glorious victory. Thus, in the annals of the Ultramarines, this mission fell from memory and became lost. The Forsaken Doom vanished in the warp once more, and the Gene Stealer Brood fell dormant with no enemy to attack, waiting in silence for a new prey to happen upon them. Centuries after the Ultramarines encountered it, the Forsaken Doom emerged from the warp in a zone of space patrolled by warriors of the first chapter, the Dark Angels. The proud fighters of the Deathwing Company assaulted the colossal wreck in the hope of finding old enemies to bring to justice. But they would make a grave tactical mistake by dividing their forces, a mistake that the lurking brood was only too eager to exploit. 
It is said that the sons of the lion came to seek those known as the fallen, the long lost traitors to their chapter. But in the gloom, the dark angels met only gene stealers hiding in the shadowed spaces of the derelict. Assaulted by hordes of Xenos swarming from all directions, the Astartes vowed to destroy the Space Hulk in the hope of triumphing against almost impossible odds. But as they fought their way toward the site of an orcish ammunition dump wherein they would plant a destructive charge, they stumbled upon the corpses of the long dead ultramarines. Squad have an asthma reporting ready. We're on the move. There are two paths here we can take. Wait. I see something. Bodies. Torn apart. By the rock, these dead were ultramarines. The wounds that killed them do not resemble normal gene stealer attack patterns. A reaction from my Auspex module. Multiple life forms approaching. The enemy shows its fangs to us. We'll make quick work of them. losses are grave. I am the only one remaining. I need immediate support. This is Squad Lathriel. We are too far from your position to reinforce. Withdraw at once. I cannot, my brother. This twisted ruin must be destroyed. My life is forfeit. We have entered the ammunition dump. Secure the area. Drop the detonator into those vents. been lost with squad Abamazo. Mark their names in honor. I have commands. We will withdraw from this death trap at once. Frustrated in their attempt to destroy the Space Hulk and facing countless numbers of the biodivergent gene stealers, the Death Wings unit cohesion crumbled. The grim vision of the dead Ultramarines was only a harbinger of their demise. But there has never been a shortfall of courage and dedication among the Dark Angels, and their will to fight remained undimmed. Surrounded and cut from their boarding craft, the Dark Angels regrouped around the mighty Lexicanum Lathriel to form the spearhead of a breakthrough attempt. For the Brood, it was a new test, their first battle against the ethereal power of a Psyker. Brothers, I found a way out of this nightmare, but the root is blocked by this hatch. I know not how, but the orcs that once lived on this wreck managed to bring a psionic lock holding it closed. I'll disable it, then we can extract. For the lion, Deathwing, attack! Psychers wield immense powers that few truly understand. For creatures like the Brood, the threat is unlike any they have encountered before. But while it takes decades for the Adeptus Astartes to train a single Psyker, the Brood can easily replace its losses and adapt quickly with biodivergent gene stealer strains. We have no word from Nathriel and his squad. We must face the bitter truth. We are trapped here with a ravening enemy and no means of escape. So time well, brothers, for the legacy of Taliban. Defeated and scattered, their forces isolated in the depths of the Space Hulk, the Dark Angels were doomed. Gene Stealers came upon them from all sides, driven mad by the stench of blood, and so the carnage was wrought. But even in the face of hopeless defeat, the Space Marines are formidable adversaries. While swarms of gene stealers gathered for a massive assault, the Death Wing had a final option, a last mission to accomplish. If they could transmit a Vox signal, they could send a warning, a desperate call for the Imperial Navy to find the Forsaken Doom and blast it into oblivion. The advance of the gene stealers forces us back to this ancient Eldari wreck. There is no way forward, but we are not done yet. There are alien energy cores here still active. We can make use of them. 
Brothers, if we can draw power from the Eldari energy source, the Vox Beacon I carry can send a warning further afield, but the beacon must be protected at all costs. Energy core located. Position marked. Our end may already be fated, but we can still ensure the Imperium endures. Repent, for today we die. Father, my auspex is reading a signal of Imperial origin. From the fleet? No, it appears to be coming from the depths of the Space Hulk, far deeper than this Eldari wreck. The coding icons are ancient, on the order of several thousand years old. A mystery then, a question we have no time to answer, kinsman. I, but I cannot help but wonder what secret lies down there, as our obsession with the Fallen blinded us. The signal sounds again, stronger this time, clearer. Can it be so? It bears the imprint of Holy Terror, the signifiers of the Adeptus Custodes. An echo from the Golden Throne. How is that possible? I do not know, brother. The signal fades now. Once again, lost to the ages. I alone remain now. Very well. Come for me, craven foe, and we will meet death together. Our mission has failed. All contact has been lost. We go to the Emperor's side. Carve our names in the rock and remember us. This is the end. There is no more. Pride, honor, devotion, these noble human feelings meant nothing to the monsters in the void. The Deathwing Terminators died fighting, but no honor was won, no knowledge earned. In the derelict's blood-spattered chambers, the Gene Stealers returned to their slumber, their alien rage and thirst for flesh briefly sated. Evolution. This alone is the key to the survival of the Tyranids. They adapt, they evolve, and they find new ways to kill. Their vanguard organism include gene stealers, adaptable creatures designed to push ahead of the main hive fleets. When gene stealers face a predictable adversary like the Ultramarines or the Dark Angels, they will learn quickly in order to find an advantage. But then came the Space Wolves, the warriors of Fenris, standing aside from the more staid, more rigid chapters of their cousins. Unpredictable, undaunted, daring to the point of recklessness, the Space Wolves follow no rules but those of their great rout. When they boarded the Forsaken Doom, the Gene Stealers would find the Sons of Rus, an enemy almost as adaptable, relentless, and cunning as themselves. But still, it would not be enough. And the find this place is a graveyard. So many dead. Who were they? I spy the war gear of Gilliman's Ultramarines and the Dark Angels of Caravan. Their deaths came hard and swift. I relish the chance to face what killed them. Wolves do not die so easily. You may have your chance, brother. Orspex readings show multiple life forms all around us. And for us and the Old Father, let us meet them in tooth and claw. Do not forget why we are here. We have a trail to follow. The signal that we seek is nearby. We will crush these gene stealers and then return to the Great Hunt. Great and glory for the wolf. Kill them all. The Space Wolves boarded the Space Hulk more than a century after the ill-fated sortie of the Dark Angels. During one of their great hunts, an unending search for their lost Primarch Lehman Russ, a party of wolves were lured in by an ancient Imperial Vox signal emanating from the derelict. They decided to investigate, taking the Gene Stealers by surprise. The few sentinel broods that met their arrival struggled to survive long enough to awaken the rest of their kin before the grey-clad space marines destroyed their nests. Of the wolf, see us and die. 
You will not be the last! My wolf's brother has fallen! Hear us in the afterlife, Kingsman! We howl for revenge! Despite the brutality of their new enemy, some of the brood survived. One of the most common mistakes when battling the Gene Stealers is to imagine that their goal is victory. It is not. Their goal is survival and the destabilization their genetic material brings. Victory through combat is a means, never an end in itself. Thus, even if a single Gene Stealer endures, it has won. This is why the Inquisition conducts Exterminatus, the sterilization of entire worlds to ensure complete eradication. And so this is why the Space Wolves failed. They allowed their victory to cloud their vision until it was too late. While the Gene Stealers licked their wounds and awakened their kin throughout the Hulk, the Wolves rushed in like a violent storm, sacrificing any prudence. Codex edicts, such as the establishment of a perimeter, was not for them. In their eyes, nothing to hold meant nothing to be breached. Charging onward, they went deeper than any incursion before them, into the wrecks of Eldari starships lost millennia ago. And there, they found something that drastically changed the nature of their hunt. What is that? There in the wreckage, I see something. If it is Eldari, then I say destroy it. No, oh, brother. See, it is a surface skull of ancient imperial design. And the ident codes. By the fang, this is 10,000 years old. From the age of heresy, no less. Then be wary. It may be cursed by the Archtraitor's taint. May its name be hated. I think not. It bears the sigils of the Adeptus Custodes, the wardens of the Imperial Throne. It is a reliquary monitor. I believe it will hold data about sacred artifacts. Indeed. We must bring it to the wolf. Agreed. As the pure strain gene stealers were unable to overwhelm the space wolf invaders, the brood reached out to summon a synapse creature to the fray. Awakened by the distress of its children, a powerful brood lord emerged from its deep sleep. squad of the Space Wolf Force was no more, but the servo skull they had discovered was now in the hands of their Wolf Lord. As the Sons of Rus pushed on, the Xenos faded away, ebbing back into the dark and regrouping. New methods of attack were required to destroy this foe. The instinctive assaults that had destroyed the Ultramarines, the ambushes set upon the Dark Angels, these were met with unchained aggression at the claws of the Space Wolves. And so the creatures gathered for the final confrontation, taking what they had learned about their enemy and turning it against them. The vital data concealed in the servo skull led the space wolves to a prize beyond all others, a sacred seal of the Emperor of Mankind. It was a relic of such immeasurable majesty that even the disorderly were silenced by its presence and as one, they kneeled before it. This was a prodigious success, but a pyrrhic one as well. Hemmed in by swarms of newly awakened gene stealers, the squad was certain to be overrun if they stood and fought. 
Fully aware of the value of his discovery, the Wolf Lord ordered an immediate withdrawal. However, time was against him. Look upon this relic, brothers. It is ours. The seal of the Emperor. Never has a great hunt come upon an object of such significance. My lord, the Xenos do not revere it as we do. Your specs can reach a huge swarm gathering above us. We will not die here and leave this noble artifact to their predations. Prepare to exfiltrate. No, the teleport summoner fails. We will have to stand our ground. Then let us ensure the seal is kept secure in its reliquary. I will guard the door myself. Brothers, I command you, stand firm. No Xenos shall approach the hallowed relic while the wolf still draws breath. endured and its children feasted on the flesh of the dead. The rigid doctrinal ultramarines did not win the day. The secretive dark angels, forever moving in shadow, could not best the Xenos in their lair. And the fearsome space wolves finally met their match in the bowels of the forsaken doom. The proud warriors of the Imperium have fought and won countless battles, but on board this blighted derelict, the rules of war are changed. To defeat gene stealers requires not only a zealous and righteous adversary, but also a cunning one. With a wider knowledge of the Tyranid threat, these deaths and defeats might have remained forgotten if it were not for the Ordo Xenos. Across the years, I was able to gather the pieces of the puzzle and prepare. All that I required was a new brand of undaunted heroes that I could guide to triumph. And so, like the quiescent monsters out in the darkness, I watched and waited. The Imperium of Man approaches its darkest hour. Its defenders lie scattered, spread thin across the darkness. Constant assaults bombard us from all corners of the galaxy. Wars led by the insidious alien Xenos. Limping home from one such brutal confrontation, the Great Battle Barge Blood Crusader is waylaid by a panicked distress call from the Forge World planet of Gorgonum. A colossal space hulk has emerged from the heart of a warp storm and lies on a collision course with the Forge World. This monstrous conglomeration of wrecked starships adrift in the void for eons The Great Derelict is a mass of secrets and dangers. 
and in their vast echoing chambers lurk swarms of deadly creatures, the worst of which are the Gene Stealers. Fanged, six-limbed, unrelenting and savage, they exist only to consume all life and to spread across the stars like a virus. A single squad of the Emperor's finest space marines is all that stands between this terrible threat and billions of human lives. The noble brothers of the Blood Angels go to meet their fate in the dark recesses of the Space Hulk. In the name of Sanguinius and the Emperor, the squad stands ready. Bless your weapons and advance. What's it all here? My most spent sweet in a moonlight form nearby. Could be seen us. Keep your weapons prime, brothers. Hold your fire until we make visual contact. Blood Crusader to strike team. Sergeants, this is Captain Ofaldo. We read you on scry sensors. Visual feeds from your combat cameras are clear. You will, Brother Captain. How do you wish us to proceed? We were summoned to destroy this Hulk, and so we will. A world lives or dies on our victory this day. The adepts suggest you attempt to locate an ammunition store or an energy core that might be induced to detonate and fracture the derelict. Make your way deeper into the wreck. You know the drill, Sergeant. Deploy your squad and advance with caution. Dispatch any opposition you encounter without mercy. Acknowledged. Brother, I know it has been some time since you were last deployed as field commander. This squad has been thrown together by circumstance, and none of your men have fought alongside each other before. This is not an ideal situation, but I trust your courage and your skill. Your faith in me will not be misplaced, brother captain. You shall not fail. We have target in sight. Gene Stealer presence confirmed. I repeat, Gene Stealers confirmed. Suffer not the alien to live. All warriors fire at will. Mark it well, kinsman, but be wary. These gene stealer filth never act alone. More will be coming. Scry scan is detecting multiple contacts inbound on your position. You have awakened a swarm. Sergeant, hold. I see Astarte's power armor on the visual feed. Go in for a closer look. Indominus Patton Terminator plate. And the chapter colors are those of the 13th, the Ultramarines. I'd warrant this kindred battle brother perished here many decades ago. It appears the Blood Angels are not the first Space Marines to board this Hulk. Perhaps we can access this Fallen Sun's combat recorder. Theoretical, our position will be overrun. We cannot hold. Tactical. Evacuation sequence has been initiated. It will not be enough. 200 life forms approaching. Brother Hilarion is dead. I am low on ammunition. They're everywhere. The Ultramarines were overwhelmed and slaughtered. But why were they here? Move on, Sergeant. Perhaps this mystery will unfold as you proceed. Sergeant. I have deployed additional Battle Brothers to your location. A heavy weapons bearer and Apothecary will join your squad. Wait. An Imperial warship is approaching the Blood Crusader. It bears the penance of the Inquisition. Attention, sons of Sanguinius. This is Inquisitor Jost von Marburg, acting on behalf of the Holy Ordo Xenos of Terra. Stand to and prepare to receive new orders. This is Brother Captain Obaldo, commander of the Blood Crusader. Tell me, Lord Inquisitor, how was it possible for you to receive the distress call from Gorgonum? 
The warp storms in this sector are smothering all long-range astropathic communications. We received no signal, Captain. We knew the Space Hulk would be here. Our records call it the Forsaken Doom, and we have been aware of it for a long time. You knew. And yet, you sent no advance warning? It is not your place to question the will of the Inquisition, Blood Angel. The Ordo Xenos has a special interest in this particular derelict. It changes nothing. Your mission is to attempt to save Gorgonum. You may proceed with my blessing. Lord Inquisitor, I must speak. This is Wertrand Lerzak, Fabricator General of the Forge World Gorgonum and faithful servant of the Machine Gods. I beg of you, we desperately need the support of the Ordo Xenos. I have no troops, no battle retinue to offer. I am merely here to observe. Observe, my lord? And may I ask why you will not intervene? You may not, Captain. Very well, Inquisitor. As for you, Fabricator General, my battle brothers have a mission and an enemy to kill. By the throne's light, that is all the Emperor's angels require. We are most grateful, honored Captain. Although it may not be enough to halt the derelict's advance, Gorgonum's planetary and orbital defenses are at full alert. We will open fire on the Hulk when it is within range. My crew and my kinsmen will take the brunt of this fight, fear not. But your expertise would be welcome aboard the Blood Crusader. Our ship still bears the wound of our last battle. I would bid you send us your most learned tech priests and all supplies you can muster. Sergeant Zahariel, heed me. I have conferred with our tech adepts, and we have prepared a strategy to destroy the Space Hulk. As we suspected, the scry sensors indicate that numerous energy cores are still active within the mass of the derelict. And we are to destroy them, Brother Captain. Indeed. But for this tactic to be effective, you will need to set several charges across the span of the Hulk and detonate them in sequence. The resulting chain reaction should split that behemoth apart. To achieve this goal, your squad must make your way deep into the inner quadrants. The danger will be grave. Our faith shall be our shield, Captain. The Emperor protects. Forgive me, Captain Ubaldo, I would speak with you. Lexicanum Hagios, you have my attention. Captain Ubaldo. Before we embarked on this mission, I searched the archives for data on this derelict. I found nothing. The Blood Angels have never encountered this space hulk before. But the Ultramarines did, and they did not live to tell the tale. This bodes ill. One cannot help but question how the Ordo Xenos know this ship. The Inquisition must be here for a reason. Marburg is an expert on the Gene Stealer species. He knows more than he is saying. My second sight tells me so. Perhaps. But we will not bend our knee to him. Our chapter needs the Gorgonum Forge intact, my lord. And our forces here are few. Respectfully, it would not serve us to let pride blind our judgment. I will consider your words, Hagios. But for the moment, we must continue with our mission. Stand by. Transmitting map data now. Proceed to this location and plant a melter charge at the designated waypoint. Orders acknowledged. Squad to combat formation. Weapons free. We confirm the presence of Scorpion turrets in your area. They are still active, but their faux recognition software seems to be malfunctioning. You may be able to reprogram them. Acknowledged, Brother Captain. Kinsman, look for any control panels. This Scorpion turret is under our control. Resetting the targeting device. <laughs> Seek out a service hatch in this chamber. It will lead to a power core within the wreckage of an Imperial Star Cruiser. Rig a charge to the core and arm it for detonation. Good. We read the charge's control signal. One melter charge will not be enough, Captain. A dozen more will be needed just to make a dent in this abomination. 
These space hulks are a rusting sin before the face of the machine god. I cannot abide such foul and defiled machinery. Keep to your repair work, Fabricator, and stay off the Voxnet. My battle brothers will do what needs to be done. Target in sight. Wait, something different about this one. It matters not, brother sergeant. Seek and destroy. Captain, your attention. I see your men have found something of interest to me. You intercepted our communications? It is within my authority to do so. As your sergeant noted, some of these creatures possess an uncommon form of a kind I have never encountered. I am intrigued. Have no fear. Our bolters will make short work of it. There are greater tools than weapons, Captain Obaldo. Be advised, I am dispatching a remote servo skull to examine the Xenos remains and collect genetic samples. Knowledge of the enemy is a critical part of my mission. The Ordo Xenos may continue with its own agenda, as long as it does not interfere with ours. We have detected a significant energy source at grid coordinates 23x75. If it can be rigged with explosive charges, we may be able to cause a catastrophic destabilization in this section of the Hulk. Heed me, brothers. It appears the Ordo Xenos wishes to speak with us. We have little choice but to hear the Inquisitor out. Captain Obaldo, Sergeant Tahariel, I address you both directly. My servitors have been probing the mass of the Space Hulk, and I believe we have located a large Xenos nest, a few corridors distant from the squad's current location. If you proceed on your present path, they will attack and devour you. But if you strike now in stealth, you may be able to take them unawares. With all due respect, Lord Inquisitor, what purpose is there to engage in a fruitless assault that yields us no tactical advantage? That section of the derelict can be sealed off and bypassed. Captain, I know the gene stealer threat better than any soul within a hundred light years. Those Xenos cannot be sealed off for long. They claw their way through any obstruction, and the longer you wait to exterminate them, the more they will gather their strength. But I will accede to your experience. This operation is under your command. For now. I will give your advice the consideration it is due, my lord. Sergeant! Take the most direct route toward the threat concentration. We will upload all available sensor data to your Auspex units. These alien walls, this strange architecture. We're entering an Eldari wreck. Be on your guard, my brothers. The malignant powers the Eldari wield spring from their obscene Xenos technology. Limit your interactions with the environment to the bare minimum lest you become ensnared by it. Some of the alien portals may still be operational. In other times, I would condemn the use of such things, but in the present circumstances, there may be no other option. The datum from the Ordo Xenos shows two major concentrations of gene stealers. Most appear to be in some kind of dormant, hibernative state. If you move quickly, you should be able to immolate the brood before they become aware of your presence. Strike swiftly. In the name of Sanguinius. Aye, my lord. Brothers, speak the rights of combat and attack. That was the last of them. May the angel be praised. We read no other contacts in your vicinity. Well done, my brothers. This area has been purged of the alien filth. Fascinating. My observations show the behavior of this brood was most unusual. These creatures do not act in a mindless, ferocious manner as others of their kind do. 
On the contrary, they attempt to deceive, to outflank, and perform sneak attacks. Most intriguing. Forgive me if I do not share your curiosity. Sergeant, your flank is now secure. Return to the primary mission and resume progression. Aye, brother captain. Attention, Space Marines. We have just spotted a very strong single biosignal near the rooms you cleansed. It seems you have awakened something larger. A single Xenos will pose little threat, Inquisitor. The Gene Stealers sometimes spawn very strong strains with their colossal powers. Even just one of these creatures can be a deadly threat. Then I bid you transmit a copy of the biosignal so we might be warned of its approach. Very well. Captain Obaldo, it seems my suspicions are correct. I have reviewed the genetic samples collected by my servo skull, and it appears some of the gene stealers aboard that derelict are quite unique, never before encountered. Their strengths and capabilities are unknown. All the more reason to eradicate them. I am not certain you fully appreciate the consequences of this discovery, Captain. The Tyranid species adapt constantly. This could be the next phase in their evolution. If we can collect a relatively intact specimen to dissect at our leisure, we will gain valuable insights, perhaps develop new tactics to use against them. The discovery of this space hulk could be a blessing for the entire Imperium. You expect us to bring back the body of one of these monstrosities intact? I do. Surely, such a challenge is not beyond the abilities of the mighty Blood Angels. What you ask is beyond the scope of this mission. We are here to save Gorgonum and its vital manufacturers, not to engage in a hunting expedition. If you came here for... Captain, do not mistake this for a request. I make my demand on behalf of the Imperial Inquisition and Holy Terror. I am the Emperor's hand in word and deed. Would you defy the orders of one so empowered? No, my lord. We will comply. Sergeant Zahariel, you have your orders. Take one of them. Be on your guard. These orcish vessels are dangerously unsafe. <laughs> the captain speaks true. They are always unstable, prone to fire and explosion. Watch out for chem leaks and radiation spills. My servitors have located several of the unique genotype specimens nearby. Deploy your squad at once. Find the targets and get me one of those corpses. Very well. We stand ready, Brother Sergeant. This challenge shall be overcome. The scry sensors read the presence of a biomorphic gene steel. This is a unique opportunity. Do not waste it. By the blood of Sanguinius. What new abomination is that? That, my dear captain, is a growth of orcish fungus. The green skins breed through the spores it generates. I advise your men to seal their power armor. Their breather filters should protect them from mycelia infestation, but be wary. See, Brother Sergeant, these creatures can die as easily as any other foe. There, on the deck, another Brother Astartes. Fated to a forgotten death in this ruin. The insignia is that of the Dark Angels. The Sons of the Lions ventured here, too. Check him for any readable combat data. We were deceived. There are no fallen here, only gene stealers, countless numbers of them. But the signal we detected, it dates from the Black Ages. From the heresy of Horus Lufa Cal, may his soul be delighted. How can this be? We failed. I am the last. And now they come for me. So be it. I will die with honor. 
He spoke of a signal from the Age of Heresy. That cannot be ignored. We must investigate. Your deceased cousin also spoke of deception, Captain. The taint of chaos and the unhallowed surrounds the events of those dark times. You and your men would do well to avoid such things. We have the signal locked on, ready for transport. Take your specimen, Inquisitor. Consider it our gift. Excellent. There are more of them close at hand. Take care not to damage them too much. The body has been secured in the examination decks aboard my ship, Captain. The Blood Angels have earned the gratitude of the Ordo Xenos. You may keep your thanks. We still have a mission to execute. Ah, but our association is yet to be concluded, Captain. Explain yourself. This derelict is a breeding ground for biomorphic gene stealers. Other varieties may appear. I would have your squad retrieve them as opportunity arises, for the benefit of my Ordos. I will not jeopardize our objective or my kinsmen for your agenda. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Captain. As a gesture of my goodwill, I will dispatch additional materials for your men. These will aid the fulfillment of all our missions, and more will come. Should your warriors secure other specimens, of course. If I didn't know better, Brother Captain, I would suggest the esteemed Inquisitor is attempting to bribe us into his schemes. He may try, Brother Sergeant, but we all know where our duty lies. Captain, I sense a dark shadow of foreboding. I may have to board the derelict in person, my lord. My witch sight is clouded. Perhaps. Ready yourself, Psyker, if you must. But know that if you depart, you will do so alone. I can spare no more men to accompany you. Brother Sergeant, the Inquisitor is making contact. With respect, Brother Captain, our mission is at a critical juncture. We have little time to spare. Captain, Sergeant, I am fully aware of your situation. However, my servants have identified several abnormal biosignatures in a nearby section. Is this yet another order from the Inquisition, my lord? I must object! Not this time, Lord Captain. This is a request. Though I consider the destruction and subsequent analysis of these abnormal gene stealers important, I won't risk jeopardizing your current situation. I leave the choice in your hands. Tahariel has command over there. I trust his judgment. Very well, Captain. Sergeant, what do you say? Will you help the Ordo Xenos advance our knowledge of this enemy? We can and we will, my lord. I understand the imperatives of the Ordo Xenos full well. You made a bold and loyal choice, Sergeant. I expected no less. Deploy your squad in this area. The location of the abnormal signatures will be transferred to your sensoria. Acknowledged. We will strike swiftly. We are their doom. I wish I could be there with you, Tahariel, but the ship requires my guidance. I detect no more biosignatures, my lord. I believe we killed the last one. Excellent. My sensors confirm indeed that you slew all the biodivergent gene stealers. We will teleport the bodies at once and begin dissections. This is an outstanding achievement, Sergeant. You have the thanks of the Ordo Xenos. You bring glory to our chapter, Tahariel. You surpass your ancient wounds and stand fast in the Angel's name. Continue with your mission, my brother. At once, my lord. Battle brothers, maintain formation and proceed to the next waypoint. Even if this sortie were to end now, I would deem it a success. Great strides have been made in our knowledge of the alien swarm. I wonder if those strides will be any use to my kinsmen. We shall see, Captain Obaldo. Blood Crusader, this is Tahariel. The squad is vectoring through the orcish wreckage and tracking the closest target signifier. Captain Ubaldo, this is the Fabricator General. I confirm that our planetary defenses are primed and ready to strike their targets. Time to deployment is 20 minutes standard. Understood. 
Concentrate your firepower on the starboard section of the Space Hulk, away from the quadrant where the tactical squad is located. Sergeant, watch for incoming fire. The derelict will react to the damage in ways we cannot predict. Throne and blood. Perhaps those damn cogs should stay in their forges. On this day, with this task, we will accept all aid that is offered. And besides, they'll provide a useful diversion to cover my approach to the Space Hulk. Brother Sergeant, you should be close to the next target location, an ammunition dump. Plant your detonators, but be cautious. The entire area is packed with explosive materials. Squad, be on your guard. Orgonum Corps commands to First Orbital Squadron. Commence attack pattern Beta Omicron. Targeting energy sources. May the eye of the machine god guide our calculus. This is a defense frigate, Vibrant Steel. Warp distortions around the Hulk are too strong to maintain a correct attack vector. Recalculating. Recalculating. Vibrant Steel to all ships. Engage secondary thrusters to avoid collision. Repeat. Engage secondary... Can it be so? I see another luckless Astartes doomed by that hellish ruin. This accursed space hulk is the grave of a thousand brother warriors. This one seems to be a son of Ras, a space wolf. Examine his combat recording so that we may hear his last words. The trail I hunted on the Wolf King's path ends here for me. Mark my soul. I dreamed of seeing the face of my demon Ras, but it was not to be. But my great hunt was not in vain. We found a trace of a great relic. An artifact that once belonged to the Emperor, the Allfather himself, lost during the heresy. But I will not live to see it. The Xenos spawn come for me now. Hear my tale. Know this is how I died. The wolf speaks of the Emperor, of a relic from the deep past. My brothers, this is another omen. It was the Emperor's will that brought us to this wreck. We are here for a reason. We must learn more about this artifact. Watch your surroundings for any clue, any sign as to its whereabouts. Cruiser Tyler's servant to all vessels. The vibrant steel is offline. We are assuming local command. Commence long-range fire with all lance batteries and macro cannons. Priority orders from Gorgonum Corps Command. Withdraw to orbit quadrant Zeta 4, 5 and regroup for a second attack run. Fabricator, pull back your ships! The formation is too dense. They will collide with a derelict or each other. Our program is capable. The spirit of Mars will guide them to victory. Tyler's servant, are you ready for the next attack wave? Servant, do you copy? Blood Crusader, are you receiving their signals? I cannot reach the defenders. I fear they are lost, along with many more ships and brave soldiers of the Imperium. All to no avail. The power of this space hulk is immense. The dead become part of it drawn in by its great gravitational pull. We may thank the Emperor's light that our battle brothers were spared. Waypoint reached. Squad, plant your crack charges there. I will experience a pleasure analog watching those orcish contraptions die in fire. Their imperfection is an insult to the Deus Mechanicus. Their destruction is a holy act. Charge set, Brother Sergeant. Good work. If the rumors of a relic aboard this derelict are true, we must seek it out for the honor of our chapter. Do you hear that? More of those Xenos? Hardly, Brother. It is I, Agios. Belixiconum, how did you find us? I was guided by my preternatural sight. Fortunately, the attack by the Mechanicus' starships drove those foul creatures away. For now, at least. Brother Lexicanum Hagios, you will assist Brother Sergeant Tahariel in the search for the relic. Your skills and your powers will be invaluable. If you have the opportunity to retrieve the artifact, you are duty-bound to make all sacrifices to do so. This is a most sacred trust, kinsman. The Emperor is watching. 
And if we must choose between recovering the relic and the mission to save Gorgonum? You know the answer, Hegios. A holy artifact touched by the Emperor's glory is more important to our chapter than the fate of a single Forge world. There are ghosts in this place calling out to me. I sense the imprint of our perished kinsmen, of sons of Rus lost and long dead. Their souls were torn apart by centuries adrift in the warp. And yet, the will of the Space Wolf lingers on. Such impressive fortitude. Brother Sergeant, deploy your squad to cover Brother Hagios. His witch sight will lead you. You must protect him at all costs. Understood, Brother Captain. We cannot tarry. I hear the insects skitter minds of those Xenos abominations. They will soon draw close. Moving forward. My Auspex reads a very faint Vox signal. Signifier icons indicate a distress call sent by warriors of the sixth chapter. Captain, Captain Ubaldo, my sensors indicate that your warriors had diverted from the mission plan. I read them heading away from the next target location. What is going on? Explain, explain. It is not your concern, Fabricator General. This mission is under the directions of the Blood Angels, not the Adeptus Mechanicus. All objectives will be concluded in due course. But, my lord, now is not the time to become sidetracked by other concerns. The Space Hulk is passing through the outer edge of our geomagnetic belt. Gorgonum is now exposed to the Rex contamination. The situation is critical. Captain, please respond. Do you hear me, Captain Ubaldo? Close and seal that Vox channel. I have had my fill of that cyborg fool's prattle. We will proceed onward without his interference. There, the remains of one of the Space Wolves. Hold fast for a moment. I will reach into the void beyond death and I will seek what lingering scraps of his spirit may still endure. Our second squad was slaughtered like animals. May Russ and the Allfather know them and drink to their memory. They died with honor atop a thousand fold hill of alien corpses. Their names will be sung in our sagas. They paid with their lives to keep the relic safe. Hegios, can you determine the location of the artifact? I fear not, Brother Captain. This bold warrior spirit fades now, like a guttering candle. Only these fleeting memories remain. <coughs> Old brothers, I see the body of another wolf son. I will ask the Dark to summon the fragments of his soul. Iron pain is all that remains. The Wolf Lord protects the relic, but he lies trapped. We must not die unremembered. Our tale unknown. All data must be transmitted to our chapter. They must know how we met our ends. Downloading all tactical reports to Servo Skull Memory Bank. May we be evoked in the Hall of our Kindred. A Wolf Lord? There. Do you see any sign of his body? And a servo scar? There is a glimmer of thought haze nearby. A tiny ember. Perhaps it is the machine slave. Still active after all this time. Yeah, I see it. This servo skull bears the mark of the wolf. Your sight beyond sight has served us well once again, Hegios. What can the Skull tell us? It is damaged. The datum corrupted. But I will attempt to extract the content. If I perish this day, I will not despair. Know then that we, the sons of Ras, found what was lost so many centuries ago. If it be a miracle, the power of the Golden Throne reaching across the infinite, then so it is willed. If it be the Wolf King Lehman Ras who led us here, then all for the better. But so it is. The Relic. It is a great seal of the Emperor of Mankind, 
One touched by his own hand. Gene coded and authentic. Our scribes say it was lost when the traitor fiend Horus rebelled against his father, but no longer. With this object, the most important edicts of the Imperium was sealed for eternity. All that is sacred, our laws, decrees and orders, everything that he gave to humanity, everything that has endured the test of time. Can it be so? I dare not question. The relic is a seal of the Emperor himself. Its value is incalculable. We cannot let such majesty rot in that unholy place. In the name of our liege lord Sanguinius, we must liberate the artifact and see it returned to Terra. If it be true, then the weight of destiny now lies heavy upon us. My brothers, this discovery changes everything. I mean no disrespect, brother captain, but I must question our next action. What do you mean, Lexicanum? Speak plainly. We have a mission to fulfill. We are honor bound to follow our duty to the citizens of the Imperium on that forge world below. We have only the words of a warrior who lies centuries dead that this seal still resides somewhere in the mass of this great wreck. It could take decades to scour the hulk from bow to stern, time we do not possess. Would the Emperor have us sacrifice an entire forge world, a world vital to our chapter, for the vain hope of finding a long forgotten relic? As always, your counsel is clear and insightful, Hagios. I will consider your words and weigh the price that must be paid. For now, continue with the mission at hand. This wreck is a maze of darkened corridors, all alike. My all specs readings are clouded. I fear we may be lost. The Crusader, do you read us? Can you track our location? Your Vox signal is barely readable, Tahario. Our scry sensors cannot penetrate that section of the derelict. Brother Sergeant, be wary. I hear the whispers of a powerful psionic mechanism nearby. We must be close to an archive chamber. Great Imperial law was often protected by immense psychic wards to hold back the taint of chaos. We should venture inside. There should be a schemata and deck plans for the ship within. Proceed, Brother Lexicana. We will move as one. It is as I thought. It will take some time for me to unbind these telepathic wards, Tahario. It is delicate work, and I must not be interrupted. Understood. My men will secure the nearby hatches and weld them shut to give us time. I must confess this mission troubles me greatly, Brother Sergeant. Do you agree? I keep such questions to myself, Sergeant. No good can come from dwelling in the past. Indeed. I know of your past, Tahario. The loss of your squad in a desperate fight against the Tyranids in the Cryptus campaign. Your grave injuries there, your wish to eschew command in the aftermath. But now fate has placed you here in that role once more. Against the same foes with a new band of brothers to lead to victory. Or death. What say you to that? You have not seen what I have seen, Lexicana. Do not presume to think you know my mind. I am a psyker, Brother Sergeant. I know the minds of all men. It is my gift and my curse. And in you I see a son of Sanguinius who seeks redemption, but fears the path toward it. Your unspent rage nurtures you like cleansing fire. You must harness it, if you wish to survive to see another dawn on Baal. There will be no Xenos victory here, Psyker. Not while I still draw breath. Glad to hear it, brother. removed. Now, let us see what awaits us inside this sanctified vault. It is always a moment of great significance when knowledge from the deep past is uncovered. 
Strike team, this is the Blood Crusader. We have regained Vox contact. Report your status. All right, Captain Ubaldo, we hear you. I have accessed the archive tomb here. It seems the psychic wards holding it shut were interfering with our Vox signal. I have negated them, and we may now converse clearly. Acknowledged. Continue with your standing orders and move on. Locate the next waypoint for the melted charges. Be watchful for any signs of other battle dead and those biodivergent gene stealers. Brother Captain, we're approaching the energy core of an orc battleship. Understood. Have you found any more data that might help locate the Emperor's seal? Not yet, my lord. For the moment, we will remain on task to locate the next detonation waypoint. Proceed, but once you have done so, resume your search for the relic. It is here. I sense its presence, my brothers. Since we first arrived in this system, a strange pressure has been building in my thoughts. I believe it to be an omen from the Angel. Now, I understand. The seal must be psionically charged, like a beacon for psychers. As each of us is bound to the Emperor in his very blood, any Space Marine Psyker must be able to connect to the spiritual essence of this sacred relic. I will trust in you to lead our brothers to it, Hegios. May the throne illuminate your path. Sergeant, deploy your squad at the Energy Core. Access will be prevented by those blast doors, and nothing less than a macro cannon will breach them. You must seek out and activate the door control panels in order to proceed. Perhaps the Space Wolves secured the doors to keep out the Gene Stealers and preserve the relic. Orders received and understood, Brother Captain, but be advised we will need to choose our priorities once the next charge is in place. The search for the seal, deploying the charges, retrieving the bodies of Gene Stealers. I'm afraid it will be almost impossible to fulfill all three objectives. On this, we are in agreement, Tahario. Captain, this is Inquisitor Marburg. My servitors have been monitoring the progress of your squad. It seems that your men are moving towards objectives of their own, outside the mission parameters. What is your explanation for this? Nothing need be said. It is enough to know the Blood Angels are committed to their assignment. I have no doubt of that. Although we may disagree on what your assignment is, for your information, my battle brothers are placing melted charges on the energy core of an orc battleship. Does that reassure you, Lord Inquisitor? I'm sure the Fabricator General will be pleased to hear that. As for myself, well, we will discuss that further in due course. After the energy core is open, proceed at once. Sensors read no signs of Adeptus Astartes' power armor. The wolves did not die here. Sergeant, set your detonator and then withdraw. Reading control signal from active charge. Good work. I hear it. The seal of the Emperor of Mankind. Through space and time, through the warp and its screaming madness. I feel it. Pure and untainted. It is calling me. A vision forms. No. I cannot see clearly. A shadow in the warp blurs my visions. The Xenos pollute the images. We must continue the search. Captain Ubaldo, your men are taking too long to destroy the Hulk. I remind you of your commitment to Gorgonum. Watch your tone, Fabricator. We answered your distress call even though this ship was near crippled and heavy with battle wounded. I am most grateful you did, but if we lose Gorgonum, the Adeptus Mechanicus will be most displeased. They will blame your chapter for failing them. Do not try to blackmail me, Fabricator. You will regret it. If I may interject, the Space Marines have been acting upon my orders. The needs of the Ordo Xenos have priority here. We cannot lose valuable production units. Gorgonum will not be sacrificed if we act swiftly. Respectfully, Captain Obaldo, your search for these lost artifacts should be put aside for the greater good. You know what we see, Inquisitor. The signal matches the oldest patterns of the Adeptus Custodes. As faithful servants of the Emperor, we must seek it out. I will not shirk from this duty. 
Very well, Captain. The final word is yours. I only hope my trust is not misplaced. Captain Ubaldo, our orbital defenses detect multiple unknown contacts emerging from the space hulk. They are savior pods jettisoning from wrecked ships, activated by proximity to a planet's surface. Gene stealers are known to escape from derelicts using such methods. If even a single one manages to make planet fall on Gorgonum, we are lost. Your world will be tainted, Fabricator General. I would be forced to order a complete blockade, perhaps even declare exterminatus if the infection spreads. I refuse to compute such a possibility. Captain Obaldo's blood angels may yet still prevail, if he is willing to listen to me. Speak, Inquisitor. A swarm of gene stealers is assembling with the intent to escape the Space Hulk. Under my guidance, your squad could prevent that. This is Tahariel. My squad stands ready. Listen carefully, Sergeant Tahariel. You will deploy your squad here. A blast of Promethean fire in this area should trigger a limited chain reaction in the Orc ammunition storage compartments. The shock wave will collapse a section of the derelict where the gene stealers are regrouping. Stand by. I am synchronizing your sensorium data with mine. A bold plan, my lord. And a dangerous one. A pity you're not here to witness it in person. Brothers, weapons ready. Follow my lead. Brother Sergeant, I hear the ghost voices of the wolves again. A fallen space marine is close by. Seek him out if you can. Understood, Brother Library. Sergeant, what would you have us do? Your orders are simple. Stay alive. Destroy the Xenos. Go now. Your men triggered an explosion with their flamer, detonating an orc ammunition magazine. Squad! Situation report. Aye, Captain. We are intact and proceeding toward the next target. There are multiple heat sources in your area. Those fires may block your progress. Detecting a massive conflagration. What is your status? It worked, brother captain. The entire compartment is on fire. Access to savior pods has been cut off. Gorgonum will not forget this act of courage, sons of Sanguinius. We are most grateful. Aye, but we must move swiftly, or this diversion will jeopardize the whole mission. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, my mind! The pain! Brothers! Intense psychic activity from the brood, bombarding my thoughts! Astartes, your attention. A cluster of abnormal biological signatures is registered in your vicinity. I am transmitting the coordinates. They are not in the path of the squad. Tahariel should be able to bypass them safely. Is that the way of the Blood Angels? To avoid battle? Do not test my patience, Lord Inquisitor. We can deal with these creatures in short order. Have no fear of that. Of course. The locations are being sent to you now. Deploy your squad carefully. These mutated gene stealers are deadly. Do not jeopardize our primary mission to Hariel. I am confident of our victory, Captain. <laughs> Inquisitor, do you read any more life signs? None. You did well, Sergeant. I will recover this precious bounty forthwith. Your Ordo's ability to scan the Hulk's depths is impressive. I will admit it gives us an important edge in this battle. The combat prowess of your men is equally impressive. You would all be worthy to enter the Death Watch, should you wish it. My Psycho-Helot has analyzed the telepathic spike experienced by your Librarian. It can only mean that the Gene Stealers are amassing around your squad. The swarm will be upon you in moments. You led my men to this Inquisitor? Tahariel, assume defensive position at once! We are trapped here, Brother Captain. I have a solution to save your men, Captain Abaldo. A deception of sorts, but it will take some time to prepare. Have them hold their ground in the meantime. The 
There are several compartments close by which are suitable for holding a defensive position. I would suggest you use them to maximize your corridors of fire. Brothers, seek out firing positions and stand firm. Enemy contact is imminent. Bahari, hold fast, my friend. History may be about to repeat itself. Not so. Once before I lost my squad in a firefight like this, it will not happen again. Aye, brother. You must exact vengeance at the tip of your blade for Sanguinius and the Blood Angels. Thank you for this duty, my lord. If I must meet my end this day, I will suffer that fate alone. I break free of the shadow of my past and embrace the wrath of the Angel. You are a worthy son of Baal, Tahariel, as you have always been. Show these aliens the price of challenging our chapter's dominion. Captain Abaldo, I am connecting to the Sensoria of your warriors. Do not be alarmed. Prepare yourselves. I will engage an experimental weapon that will render the Xenos attackers inert. How is that possible? The Order Xenos has many secrets. Let us say this is our game of mirrors. Blood Angels, this is Marburg. I detect an increase in biological activity. A large swarm of gene stealers is moving toward your position. Stand firm, my kinsman. You will be their doom. Inquisitor, if you are to do something, then do it. My warriors cannot hold out forever. Situation critical. Ammunition counts are low. The line is about to break. Stand by. I am implementing the final protocol. I am almost ready. Do not falter now. Stand strong for the Emperor. Blood of Baal! Once more upon the breach, brothers! And so it begins. I sense a psychic storm. Where is it coming from? To Hario! Hegios, do you hear me? The soul of Sanguinius. What happened? Brother Sergeant, do you read? We lost all contact. The connection with your sensorium went dead. It was uncanny. The gene stealers, they suddenly stopped attacking. They simply stood still. Idle targets was to kill. We slaughtered them by the dozen before the rest came to their senses and fled. You fought well, Blood Angels. I will personally inscribe an endorsement from my Ordo to your chapter master, Dante, telling him of your bravery. You provided me with a perfect opportunity to test a new deception weapon. Are my men no better than experimental subjects for you, Inquisitor? And I must question why the Ordo Xenos did not use this secret of yours before. We have, Captain, many times, and always with failure and death as the result. Be thankful that today fate showed you her smile. With all the data collected since the beginning of this incursion, I was able to increase the power of my secret tenfold. The resulting psychic assault sent a powerful wave of stimuli that temporarily blinded the gene stealers surrounding your warriors. A most satisfying conclusion. You have my thanks for the lives of my men, Inquisitor, but that is all. If I learn there is more you have been keeping from me, if I discover you have risked the life of a single blood angel for some selfish personal agenda, there will be a great price to pay. Strike team status. We have breached the hull of an Eldari starship deep in the mass of the Space Hulk. Understood, Brother Sergeant. You should be able to turn any Xenos energy sources to our advantage. Hold! My all specs show strange readings. I'm detecting rising energy levels in all directions. In the silence, through the ether, I hear a thousand voices whispering in the dark. Confirming. We detect the same energy pattern. The subsystems of that alien craft are still functional. Indeed so. I am familiar with these patterns. I believe Sergeant Tahariel's strike team has been detected by an automated defense system. I see no weapons, no threat. Explain, Inquisitor. It is a final defense mechanism designed to prevent the capture of an Eldari vessel by invaders. 
When enough energy has been gathered, it will trigger a catastrophic vortex implosion. If you are within the energy penumbra, you and your warriors will be dragged into the warp. I suggest a speedy withdrawal. Brother Captain, retreat is impossible. The bulkheads have sealed behind us. It's a trap. The Eldari strike at us from their graves. You must find a way to deactivate the system. Wait. New contacts detected. Xenos life signals are converging on your position. Gene stealers! I have located what appear to be two power nodes on the Eldari ship. Destroying them should stop the energy buildup and neutralize the defense system, but you will need to act quickly. Sending coordinates, Brother Sergeant! Find those targets! Be aware, this will not be a simple act. The Eldari are always scheming, always difficult to overcome. What do you mean? Both nodes must be destroyed in a rapid sequence, Blood Angel. Any delay in obliterating them will cause the Vortex implosion to initiate prematurely. Acknowledged. Squad, break formation for attack. I will lead the second group, brother. Here, yeah, you should be close to the primary power node. Remember, both must be destroyed swiftly, or all will be lost. Quickly, go for the second node. The Vortex energy has dissipated. The weapon is dead. Well done, kinsman. Do not declare victory so soon. This is not over yet. What say you? Another Eldari trap. The Scry sensors are registering a powerful warp energy surge. The voices return. Doubtless voices. Deathly my mind. All contact with the strike team has ceased. All tracking beacons are silent. Curious. It would seem a warp storm is forming. How very unexpected. Is that all you have to say, Inquisitor? My battle brothers are lost. Every one of them. And you speak of this as if it is... Trifling happenstance! Damn you for your arrogance! By my blood, can it be so? A force of my bravest warriors, cast into the horrors of the Infernal Warp by the hatred of the Eldari. Their names will not be forgotten. Do not be so quick to count them among the honored dead. My servitors continue to deep-scan the structure of the Space Hulk, and there appear to be energy traces that match those of Terminator power armor. By the Emperor's will, I believe your men live still, only scattered by the Warp Storm's turmoil. Can it be? Yet I cannot reach them via the Voxnet. My servitors are registering a response. They live. Your Lexicanum among them. He has great fortitude and psychic might, that one. I will attempt to facilitate contact. Agios, do you hear me? Brother, are you there? I am. Praise the angel, I survived that insanity. What of Tahariel and the others? Alive, I would hope. Our brothers have been translocated across the derelict scattered from each other. I will find them, Brother Captain. On the Red Grail, I so swear. The Eldari ship entered a protective mode when the storm erupted. Your battle brothers will be confined inside sealed sections of the hull. Exocanum, heed me. I am transmitting the last known positions of the energy traces. Your men should be close by, but I cannot vouch if they are alive or dead. Proceed with alacrity, Hagios. If you are not swift, it will be the Tyranids who find our kinsmen first. I have located Tahariel. Brother Sergeant, do you hear me? Rise if you can. Brother Lexicana, is that you? What in all the known hells happened to us back then? A tempest of psychic force fell upon us, Tahariel. A warp storm. But the angel's wings surrounded us and shielded our souls. But the others, my squad, my brothers, where are they? Tell me they still live. Tell me. Temper your fury, my friend. Your men are still alive. But we must regroup and do so quickly. 
and the blood of the angel. I will not lose another brother on my watch. It shall not be. I have found one of our kinsmen. He lies unconscious. Awaken, brother, in the name of Sanguinius. Brother, I see you. It is time to serve the angel again. Rise, kinsman. Rise and fight again, my friend. Blood Crusader, do you hear me? We have reunited the lost, and we are proceeding to our next target. My hearts are stirred by your voice, Hegios. Once more, the sons of Sanguinius march, fearsome and unstoppable. Captain Lord Inquisitor, the Great Wreck comes closer to our forge world with each passing moment, and nothing seems to slow its advance. What is happening? Must I call for my adepts to abandon their manufactories and flee? To shut down our production lines and evacuate will be the greatest tragedy, a disastrous defeat for the Mechanicus. You would do well to emulate some calm, Fabricator General. Your tech priests will not run. For the safety of the Imperium, I hereby forbid any vessel to lift off from Gorgonum. How can you issue such an edict? I oppose this order in the strongest possible terms. You have neither the right to make such a demand, nor the means to enforce it. If any of your cogs wish to violate a direct command from the Ordo Xenos, that is their choice. But I doubt that any of your kind will dare to do so. This is Brother Captain Obaldo. Do not fear, Lord Adept. My warriors are close to the completion of their mission. Hold your nerve and I swear to you, the Blood Angels will prevail. Captain Obaldo, your attention. I have one last duty for your warriors to perform. Pardon me, my lord, but I thought we were finished with your hunting games. Not quite. I have been probing the waves of psychic power which unite the gene steel hordes. My servitors located traces of what seems to be a synapse creature, a monstrous form we know as a brood lord. It is the life sign that I mentioned before. Aye, brother captain, I sense it too. A twisted mind, bloated with great psionic power leading the other feral creatures with a common will. The Ordo Xenos have captured many Tyranid Synapse creatures over the centuries, but never a Gene Stealer Broodlord. They are elusive, deadly, and cunning. They are always the first to arrive on a planet when the infestation begins. As a prime threat to Gorgonum, it should be exterminated on sight. No. I want it dissected in my vaults. Its extraction and study will greatly reduce the threat against your Forge World, Fabricator General. Be certain of that. Destroying the Space Hulk serves the same goal, my lord. True, but it would deprive us of a critical asset in the war against the Gene Stealer threat. In service of a greater purpose for this world and thousands more threatened by the Tyranids, this must be done. Brother Captain, if so ordered, we will accomplish this task among all others. I trust your judgment, Tahario. You may proceed. Confirm the presence of the Brood Lord. Psionic signature trace is in the red. What foul Xenos is this? Brother, show it the wrath that the sons of Sanguinius! Weapons ready. Remember we need to secure the remains. Sergeant, deploy your squad at this waypoint. The psychic signals are peaking in that area. What can you tell us about this synapse creature? It would take far too long to give you a full history. All you need to know is the Brood Lord is a larger, more intelligent gene stealer. It acts as a nodal relay for the lesser members of the Brood, a hub enhancing their collective intelligence. How does it fight? They are not feral, mindless monsters like their kin, Brother Sergeant. The Broodlord has a strong sense of survival. It will not rush into conflict, but do not be fooled. It is even more deadly than its fellow broodlings. If cornered, it will put up a vicious fight. I understand. We won't fail. The Angel shows the way. Weapons ready! Lost contact. It's gone. Fled into the depths of the Hulk. 
Time, blood, and bolt shells all spent for nothing. I will not allow my men to take the blame for this failure. On the contrary, Captain, this is a success. All the precious combat footage and sensor data will bring much needed knowledge about the Broodlord. I admit I was not confident of a capture, but it was worth the attempt. You used my warriors as bait? We will discuss this matter face to face. My lord, when this is all over, know that. I welcome it, Captain Obaldo. In the meantime, you would do well to recall that I am the only one who truly understands what your warriors are facing. Brothers, I can feel it now. The Emperor's seal is close at hand. I know where it is. It calls me from deep below. It has chosen us to finish what the other Astartes began. The wolves found and secured this hallowed fragment of the Emperor's living will. Now, we will claim it back in the name of the Imperium. My brothers, this day will be long remembered. This deed will be written in the Great Hall of Baal and across the galaxy. Let nothing distract you from your duty. Bring back the seal of the Emperor. Sanguinius is with you! Nothing will stand against us. Onward, brothers! For Sanguinius and the Emperor! The seal is near. When they knew they were trapped here, the Space Wolves locked it away to preserve its sanctity. their task, and liberate this holy relic from the darkness. Many steadfast warriors fell in this place. They may have marched at the banner of another Primarch, but we will honor them as our brothers today. We stand side by side with the wolves as it should be. Behold, ahead lies the sacred reliquary. We are blessed among our brothers. Now, let us succeed where so many failed. We are blood angels. Our victory is assured. Such great majesty, the seal of the Emperor is out. Brothers, I wish I could stand with you in this moment. You are touched by the radiance of the Master of Mankind. All hatches secured by the Space Wolves have opened. Perhaps the will of the Wolf is still here, guiding us beyond time and death. We have the Relic. We must go. Now! Praise be Sanguinius for this glorious victory! The seal is secure. I shall prepare the highest honor guard to stand sentinel around its reliquary aboard the Blood Crusader. We will have much to show our battle brothers when we return to the fortress monastery on Baal. Before the Emperor's light we remain humble in all things. We serve the Golden Throne and Holy Terror in the name of our Primarch. All the glory is in their name, and so shall it be for eternity. I must admit, grudgingly, that the performance of your Astartes has been exemplary, Blood Angel. Despite our differences, you have done the Imperium's work here today, and your actions will be remembered by all loyal sons and daughters of Holy Terra. The Emperor is watching, and he knows your names. Brother Captain, we're about to enter the hull of an Eldari Void Stalker. My all specs indicate high levels of radiation. Those warships are equipped with very powerful energy cores. If this one is still active, it may just be what we need to break apart that hulk. I sense a powerful psychic force ahead of us. I fear a Xenos Synapse creature still roams the Stygian corridors of this derelict. Only I can oppose such a fiend. Only psychic might can overcome it. Then we go. Brothers, follow my lead. To reach the inner core, it would be faster to take one of those accursed Eldari portals. 
May the Angel protect us from this abomination. Attention! We are synchronizing all melter charge detonators across the Space Hulk. When you are ready, we will trigger the explosions. You will have little time to reach the extraction point, Kinsman. So be it. Our deaths are a fair trade for final victory. Indeed. But sacrifice is not needed. An escape route exists. Now go! For the Angel! For the Emperor! The last charge is in place. Fabricator General, you may begin. Confirmed! Initiating countdown to detonation! Now, brothers, get out of there. Fall back to the boarding torpedo and disengage. Hurry! Before I am forced to pull the Blood Crusader away from the blast zone. My servitors have detected an abnormal signature. A Synapse creature has awakened. Beware, Astartes, for you have never faced the likes of this beast before. Brothers, be on your guard! Kinsman, an inferno is wreaking havoc aboard the Hulk. The fires are encroaching on your position. Time is short. Do not tarry. The Space Hulk is splitting apart. And so I witness the demise of the Forsaken Doom. It is fitting centuries of study to reach this final moment. Our condition critical! <laughs> Mission accomplished, Kinsman. Return to the Battle Barge. We have our victory. Costly and arduous, but victory nonetheless. The Forge World's safety is assured. Its manufactories will continue to feed the Imperium's righteous war machine. The Space Hulk is no more. Torn apart by fire, the Forsaken Doom broke into a million pieces. Debris was consumed in the upper atmosphere of Gorgonum, purifying the Xenos threat with cleansing fire. However, with the prodigious burst of energy came a new, brief warp storm which swallowed the largest pieces of the wreckage. Each has been cast out to become the malignant seed of another Space Hulk. And inside, lying dormant, the lingering taint of the Gene Stealers awaits, poised to infest everything that crosses their path. Slowly, they will grow, capturing derelicts and asteroids in the depths of the void. In time, it will only make things worse. But time is a much needed commodity. Some say it may be the end of it, but not today. Not as long as the Holy Inquisition holds its vigil. Not as long as the forges of the Adeptus Mechanicus continue to burn. Not as long as a single blood angel lives. The sacred seal of the Emperor of Mankind was extracted from its abhorrent sarcophagus and returned to holy terror where it belongs. Acting above and beyond the call of duty, triumphing where other chapters had failed, the Blood Angels recovered much more than a precious relic. They brought a moment of hope. A small measure of illumination to the shadow of despair that shrouds the galaxy. Is it, as some suggest, an omen of greater wonders to come? 
or a harbinger that the end is nigh. Only time will tell. For the Order Xenos, capturing specimens of the biodivergent gene stealers is an invaluable boon. The greatest minds of the Inquisition and the Magos Biologus will study the arch enemy in detail, hoping to unveil new flaws in this terrible species. As thousands of worlds are under threat of Tyranid infestation, any advantage we can gain will tip the balance between life and death for billions.